This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Three guns seized within less than 24 hours in St. Andrew Central Division. Police personnel from the St. Andrew Central Division seized three firearms and 32 assorted rounds of ammunition during three separate operations in the division within less than a 24-hour period. Five persons, including a woman, are in custody in relation to two of the seizures. The first seizure occurred on Monday, February 15, at about 2 p.m., when law enforcement personnel were on Upper Ivy Road, where a premises was searched and a .38 Smith & Wesson revolver with five 9mm rounds of ammunition was seized. No one was arrested in relation to that seizure. In the second incident, at about 6.10 a.m. on Tuesday, February 16, a joint police-military operation was conducted on Terence Avenue, where a premises that was occupied by two men was searched and a 9mm Taurus pistol with a magazine containing 12 9mm rounds of ammunition was seen hidden inside the chest of drawers. The men were taken into custody in relation to the seizure, however, their identities are being withheld pending further investigation. About 7 a.m. the same day, the police reportedly seized the third firearm at a house on Ambrook Lane that was occupied by two men and a woman. The house was searched and a 9mm Beretta pistol with a magazine containing 15 9mm rounds of ammunition was reportedly found on top of the roof. The three occupants of the house were taken into custody, however their identities are being withheld pending further investigation. Investigations continue into the three seizures. Westmoreland Police Release Photos of Two Men Wanted for Murder The Westmoreland Police have listed and released the photos of two men who are wanted for a murder committed on Hudson Street in the parish on Monday, January 11. The suspects are Mark Watson and Delroy Cunningham, otherwise called Ratty, both of Hudson Street. Reports are that the deceased 62-year-old Delroy Grant had a dispute with Cunningham during which Cunningham was chopped. No report was made to the police. It's alleged that Cunningham, Watson and two other men went to Grant's home about 7.45 a.m. on January 11 and attacked him using pieces of iron, a machete and a hammer. The police were summoned and Grant taken to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries on Sunday, January 17. On Monday, February 8, the police conducted operations in the Hudson Street area during which 22-year-old Ricardo Bailey, otherwise called Holoman, and 32-year-old Tristan Daly were arrested. They were both charged with murder in relation to the incident on Saturday, February 13 following interviews. Their court dates are being finalized. Meanwhile, the police are urging Watson and Cunningham to turn themselves into the Savannah Lamar police immediately. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of the two men are asked to call Savannah Lamar police at 876-955-2758, police 119 emergency number, or the nearest police station. Citizens are also reminded that it is an offense to harbor a fugitive. 23-year-old charged with murder of St. Mary Farmer. A man has been charged with the murder of a farmer whose body was found with bullet wounds in Gale St. Mary earlier this month. Christopher Walters, alias Chris, of Top Road, Jeffreytown, has been charged with the murder of 30-year-old Orville Richards of Gale, both in St. Mary. According to the police, on Wednesday, February 3, about 8 p.m., Residents heard explosions and later found a man, subsequently identified as Richards, lying on the roadway. The police were alerted and on their arrival, Richards was reportedly seen lying on the ground with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to his upper body. He was pronounced dead at hospital. Further reports are that on Monday, February 8, Walters turned himself over to the police where he was charged with the murder after a question and answer interview. His court date is being finalized by the police. Suspect in Clarendon chopping death of woman now in police custody. A man suspected of chopping a Clarendon woman to death in Crooked River in the parish on Monday is now in police custody. The suspect was picked up on Tuesday afternoon in Kingston by the St. Andrew Central Police. Sharon Cole, 61, was chopped to death about 5.10 p.m. Monday during a dispute. Reports from the Chapleton Police are that Cole reportedly got into an argument with a man. It is alleged that the argument escalated and the man used a machete to chop Cole several times all over her 
her body. She was rushed to the hospital, where she was pronounced dead on arrival. Women charged with assaulting sisters over damaged hose. Three West Kingston women are now before the court, accused of assaulting two minors over a damaged garden hose. One of the complainants, a 10-year-old girl, was allegedly cut on the leg during the incident. The accused women are Tavia Bradford, Natalie Brown, and Yvonne Finley, who are charged with common assault and unlawful wounding in relation to the January 22 incident. They appeared before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court, where the mother of the children gave an outline of what occurred on the day in question. She said the father of the children accidentally cut the hose, which belonged to an associate of the women. According to the mother, her 10-year-old went downstairs when Brown asked what happened to the hose. The mother said the child explained that her father accidentally damaged the hose. She said her 13-year-old daughter explained the same thing to Brown. However, she said Brown followed her daughter upstairs and poked her in the face while accusing the girls of having no manners. They threw bottles in the house and cut my 10-year-old daughter on her leg, and I still have the bottle on the counter as proof, said the mother. Following the explanation, the women agreed to resolve the matter through mediation. They will return to court on April 12 to give an update on the progress of the mediation. Please remember to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.